The Stephenson Labs has spent years now studying some of the effects of acupuncture for addiction. So we have millions and millions of people in this country who, who have this issue. Only about 19% of them ever really get any treatment at all. And of the 19%, only 50% of those actually get better. Really in the last 50 to 60 years you find that acupuncture has been more commonplace in the United States. The concept in Eastern medicine has been that they utilize the energy meridians of the body. We want to use the peripheral nervous system and receptors that exist in the peripheral nervous system to fire neuron pathways that will eventually lead to the brain and then cause changes in the central nervous system in the brain and the spinal cord. There are, there are two classes of neurons that we're interested in. There's a class of neurons called dopamine neurons. There's a second class of neurons, and they're called GABA neurons. And when they fire, they shut the dopamine neurons down. So we found in the laboratory that by activating these pathways associated with this acupuncture treatment, that we can actually slow down the firing rate of these GABA neurons that become overactive when someone's going through withdrawal. We're working hard to develop these new treatment protocols that can help bridge the gap in the cure rate or the successful treatment rate of addiction. So to this point, the lab has produced publications that have looked at the effects of, of this type of therapy on alcohol addiction, on cocaine addiction, and on methamphetamine addiction. And by studying the mechanisms of how this acupuncture therapy is working, we're finding that we can indeed to a certain extent calm those neurons down in this withdrawal phase so that we can allow them to feel just a little bit better and hopefully get them through that phase. We really, really hope that the outcome of this research will provide a new avenue to help people get their lives back.